Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this short tutorial. This is Lola. She's really happy we are doing this. Basically, what you're seeing here is a typical desk work mat that you can find at any general store. The one that you see here for my kitchen is an A2 size mat. And for the bathroom, which has a smaller entrance, I used an A3. So basically, I spent, I think, uh, 10, 15 euros for, um, for these uh, materials. The rest is just stuff that I found around the house. What you have to keep in mind is these mats on their own don't necessarily work. You have to actually give it some uh, underside rigidity using uh, preferably some uh, wooden um, uh, slim boards uh, or try to be inventive about it. The idea of it is the mat itself doesn't really work. You have to Try as much as possible to make the transition as smooth as possible from the actual room, like living room in my case, where it is now, the kitchen, which is sitting two centimeters higher. The problem here is the inclined sensor of Roomba activates really fast once Roomba senses that its backside is getting a bit lower and its nose is going a bit too high. So you want to make that transition as smooth as possible. And in order to achieve this, I shaved off the edges of the mat with a with a really sharp knife giving gi giving it a really um aggressive angle of transition um in in uh, regarding the the cut that I did and this gives Roomba a really smooth approach as it's as it's transitioning from the floor to the actual mat I also applied a strip of tape on the edge as you can see here it's shiny and this helps smoothen things out and helps Roomba just easily get on top of the mat and proceed forward. Here you can see the rigidity frame that I created for this particular mat for the bathroom. I just used a wooden um, board, as you can see, just to uh, compensate for that lack of rigidity that the actual uh, work mat has. And this really helps support Roomba as it's going from the lower floor to the upper floor. And you can see the edges. And because the mat itself is flexible, it's going to actually sit down on the floor, upper floor and low floor. Here you can see some robot wars. They're fighting, I don't know what's happening. There's an argument here or multiplying. That would be nice. I could get rich just selling baby rumbas. Uh, moving on. So um, here you can see Roomba just acknowledging the room. So when it's going to on top of the threshold and um, Seeing the space, which is already mapped, is going to flash the white light and say, okay, there's a room here which I have to attend to later. It doesn't necessarily mean that it failed to get on top of the mat and you know, enter the room. You will see later that it's actually working. Next, you're going to see um, a map of, mapping of my house. What you have to keep in mind about the map of the house is the fact that it's very important for the rooms which you are having difficulty mapping, pick up Roomba by hand, place it in the actual room, press clean, and then once it's leaving the room and it's going home, then that room is going to be added to the map because this was my case. But of course, after you create this transition mats for the rooms in order for it to successfully leave that space which you're trying to map. It's very important once you map the whole house, create room dividers, name the rooms, and place this threshold yellow areas for the Roomba to know to deactivate the incline sensor. And I have also a red zone, which means do not go there in my case. But mostly this is it and it actually works. And here you can see Roomba successfully approaching the incline, smoothly getting over the edge, bam, is on top of it and inside the room. It's working fine. This is a two centimeter difference between the lower floor of the living room and the higher floor of the kitchen in my case. That's about it. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and it fixes your issue. I know that it should be working by itself because we are all paying the money and we want it to work flawlessly without us investing more money and time in order to help it work. But this is the case of Brava and I hope it helps you uh, making yours work.